One, two, three, four. This is so nice. It could be illegal meeting you once more. Feeling so good could be against the law. I was carrying a guitar around and singing everything I could get my hands on. I always had a very open-minded approach to music. She's as much of a blues and a folk artist as she is a jazz artist. She could sing anything, and she sings it with passion and authenticity and originality. She was hot and cool at the same time. All the dry land changed to me. It'll never make any change in me. I've got that old-fashioned love in my heart. This is something that's unique to Barbara. I can't think of anybody else who's recording for Folkways and Capital. You know, the label of Woody Guthrie and of Frank Sinatra? I'm gonna walk, talk with the Prince of Peace. Down by the riverside, oh yeah. They told me I couldn't make a record with Jimmy Witherspoon because it was impossible to put a black man and a white woman on an album. <laughs> Isn't that ridiculous? So I just went ahead and put my face up there with four guys. And, and to hell with all that. <laughs> we broke all the rules. Broke all the rules. Broke all the rules. Yeah, <laughs> That's why. They make rules for us to break them. <laughs> Am I a troublemaker? I made them a lot of trouble. These people went to a lot of trouble. I mean... Desafiando las prohibiciones del gobierno norteamericano, visita nuestro país la cantante Barbara Dane y el escritor Irwin Silver. She was the first important American artists who came to Cuba, I think, after the revolution. Everybody knew her name. You know, I raised three kids while I was doing all this sort of singing and running around the world. If you have ethics and you don't want to sell your music, but still you have to make a living and it's a kind of a tightrope walk. Oh, freedom. Oh, freedom. Oh, freedom. Over me. Over me. She was an artist, and she had a commitment to justice and freedom and the movement, and she turned all her art to that end. Ain't gonna let no light in poverty. 